We are back here on Carolina Women with our guest, Brittany Heller from Effervescence. We're going to talk yoga and spa. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. Yoga and spa. Mm -hmm. That sounds Can great. Can you share with our gentleman on the couch a little bit about exactly what you do and whether you would recommend yoga or spa for these young men? Oh, well, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it depends, actually. Yeah. No. So both, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about pain in the back, which a lot of people have due mm -hmm. to sitting too much, being at the desk, driving. And yoga assists with that because it gets our body into the plane of extension as opposed to being contracted all the time, which is what we do, especially if we're on phones all the time. But yeah, with the spa, massage can assist in that as well, which is lovely. <laughs> exactly. Let's talk a little bit seriously though about effervescence. What do you do? Where are you located? And what sure. are some of the services that you offer? Yeah, so we offer yoga, all sorts of styles, um, restorative yoga, hot yoga, yin yoga, which is more of a long length. You stretch. would like that. Yin mm -hmm. yoga is good because it's like you move a toe. Yes. I mean, it's teeny little bitty movements. It sounds silly, but it's really I'm, good. I'm doing it right now. There you go. <laughs> What exactly. a power. <laughs> <laughs> With the toes? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You can't even tell. <laughs> you can't even tell. <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're trying to get back on track Let here. Let me digress. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so then we also offer massage, all sorts of styles. Mm -hmm. um, we do dry brushing as well. And so Wait, what is that? Dry brushing is great. It's an exfoliation that you utilize a dry brush, mm -hmm. and then it ends with a coconut oil massage as well. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, really Where good. are you located? We're in um, Port Royal, so at the very mm -hmm. end of Paris Avenue in the old Customs House. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you know where she yeah. is? Yeah, here I you know exactly where she is. Yes. Yes. Yeah. How did you get involved in this? I actually started when I was 15, thanks to my dance teacher at Battery Creek. Oh, High wow. School. Yes. Did okay. you? Mm -hmm, I did. And I just fell in love after the first Shavasana, which is our final relaxation pose in yoga. You get a nap at the end of yoga, so that's why mm -hmm. I have always Have you done yoga? Larry, have you or Michael ever done it? I used to. Okay. Yeah, there you go. I did it. Michael, I did it. No, I was, Larry is yeah, giving I me the eye. Yeah. He's giving I, me I the eyeball. It, yeah. And I loved it. And as long I quit. as it's just the toe thing. <laughs> you want <laughs> to order yin followed by a massage. There you yeah, go. Yeah. A lot of people do. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that do runs you, in our family. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so do do you have a lot of men, women? We do. Yeah. We have a flex amount of people as well as um, different ages, different styles, and so. Yeah, it's a wide range of people that come in. We're Talk to us about the most popular um, spa treatments that you do. Yeah, so the most popular one so far is the integrative massage, which is I see you as you come in and work with you from where you're at. So, and so what does that mean? Sure, integrative means it's not deep tissue, it's not Swedish, it's a mix and blend of each. So if you come in with, oh, I got pain in my shoulder, I'll concentrate on that area, but okay. also give you still a relaxing massage through as well. Well, that sounds okay. pretty yeah. good. How often do you have yoga classes or are most of these private? No, that's a great question. We have every single day classes um, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. And then Tuesday through Thursday, we have 6 p.m. Okay. And then Saturday and Sunday at 10 a.m. So every single day you have a class that you can come to. What do you yeah. recommend? Do you recommend people do yoga twice a week? That's a great question also. Okay. Um, I, so a lot of people do three times a week. Okay. I personally do one to two and I try to do more, okay. but there are people that will say, oh, I do it every day. And it's like, mm -hmm. no, you don't. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you don't have to either, which is great. And you can still yeah. get the benefits from doing it one hour, um, one hour a week. And I know, I, and I don't mean to be speaking for, for Larry and Michael because they're fully capable. Sure. Okay. <laughs> However, I think that a lot of people who haven't done yoga, you did it, can be intimidated by it and mm -hmm. say, I'm not, I'm not flexible, I can't stretch. Right. But I think the cool part, that's what's so cool about yoga, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell, tell there a little bit about, you don't have to. You don't have to be flexible. <laughs> you don't have to be flexible to do yoga. And the reason being is because what it does is it creates flexibility in you. Now, if you're over flexible, you wanna create strength, right? So I would recommend a more strengthening style yoga class as opposed to the yin because mm -hmm. the yin is more in depth of adding the flexibility to your body. Mm -hmm. So if you feel like you're a bound person, right, because you're so tight, mm -hmm. I would say try a yin, try a relax or a restorative class as well, and those are gonna help loosen you up. Yeah. Okay. Brittany, thank you for joining us. See, the guys really like this. Our yeah. men on the couch Still are- doing the toe thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna yeah. say, oh my God, stay with us, there's more to come. Here on Carolina Women and our men on the couch. <laughs>